Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, it's my great honour and, and privilege to rise today to speak in favour of, uh, of, of Bill 7. Um, and I'd also like to recognise we have a couple of members of uh, uh, Alberta's trans community here with us today. Uh, and it is such, uh, such an honour to uh, present today uh, in, in favour and support of, uh, of such an important bill. It allows individuals, uh, all Albertans, to feel protected, to feel included, and to feel truly part of our community and our society. Uh, it gives allies the ability to effectively argue in favour and advocate for their family and their friends and their neighbours. Uh, it provides the clarity that's needed, irrespective of any argument that the, the transgender um, expression may already be included. It clarifies uh, any uh, and, and removes any doubt, uh, which is why this is such an important bill. Uh, when we think about what that actually means, and I was listening closely to the member for Calgary Hawkwood and, and reflecting on his words, and, and uh, uh, I think he, he brought a, a lot of uh, clarity and, and power uh, to, to, the converse, to, to this, this discussion and debate, and I, I thank him very much for his words, for his advocacy, for uh, all members uh, of the Government Caucus and indeed others who've done work on behalf of uh, transgender Albertans. Um, it is quite something that we have unanimity, I believe, in this House on, on this issue. Um, and it's, I think, a big change uh, over the course of even just a, a few short years. And I think what it does is it reflects what Alberta really is today. Uh, and I think we should be proud that we're in this uh, place, having these discussions openly uh, and, uh, and, and uh, without, uh, w without controversy. Uh, I think that's, that's, that's very telling, uh, very encouraging. Uh, and having said that, our work here is not done. Um, as we well know that there are um, challenges in schools in particular. Um, as we look at what's happened uh, at specifically the Edmonton Catholic School Board uh, in discussions around access for a transgender student uh, simply to use the washroom of her choice, uh, our work is not done. Uh, it is not simply about, as the member for Hawkwood says, putting words on a piece of paper. What we need is, is advocacy. Um, I suspect we may not actually get to my motion 511 uh, here this fall, uh, but that motion in a nutshell calls for the Minister of Education uh, to uh, allow school boards time to come up with an appropriate policy, but not much time. Um, it uh, calls on the uh, uh, Minister to uh, allow them to March 31st of next year, March 31st of 2016, to come up with an appropriate policy to uh, his satisfaction that will in fact protect all students, transgender students uh, included and especially, and uh, should they not come up with an appropriate policy for him to impose an appropriate policy upon them. Um, I applaud the Minister for your leadership on this issue to date. Uh, uh, there is still work to do though, uh, and I will, I'm sure you know we'll be watching closely uh, to ensure that uh, that, uh, that uh, appropriate policy uh, is in fact uh, put into place. Um, words on paper are important, uh, laws are very important, but action uh, is equally important. Uh, and so I think we, we need, I would like very much to see, uh, and again in, in keeping with the, uh, the words of the member for, for Calgary Hawkwood, uh, we need to back this legislation with action. Um, it's one thing to say that uh, this will allow landlords to know that they cannot discriminate because it's in the law. I think that, uh, unfortunately, people who may think about discriminating, uh, the first thing they do is not go read the legislation. Uh, and I think that it's important that uh, we, we, uh, we, not just here as leaders in our communities uh, and representatives of those communities, uh, show that leadership. But I would call, I really urge the government to think about ways of advocating, of communicating, of putting this out there, uh, that this is no longer acceptable, and to consider some sort of communication strategy uh, that once Bill 7, I'm hopeful, will be passed, and I'm hopeful will be passed unanimously and enthusiastically by this House. But once that happens, uh, that the government consider undertaking some form of uh, campaign, of uh, information campaign, uh, to, uh, to, to let, uh, let every Albertan know that it is in no way acceptable in any circumstance, in any context, to discriminate against uh, transgendered individuals. Um, and again, I, I just want to close again by recognizing the work that have been done by uh, members on both sides of the House uh, in uh, going back uh, even, 
even to the previous government, I think is important to recognize. Um, the, uh, the member for, for Calgary Hawkwood, um, Strathcona, uh, Sherwood Park, if I'm not mistaken, if I've got that right, uh, and Calgary Cross as well uh, as the minister. I know you've all done a lot of work on this, uh, and I think you uh, have brought a perspective that this House has been lacking for many years, um, and so it really is uh, um, it's an important day here in the Legislative Assembly. And so I want to thank everyone for the, the work that you've done to date. Uh, this will be an important moment in Alberta history. Uh, and from here, uh, recognize, however, that our, our work continues. And with that, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.